Right, well, continuing on from uh, the, uh, the last video on the wire woven flies, uh, an, an exciting new uh, design that we've come up with. There's been the uh, for steel head patterns, and these are very, very simple to tie. And this is basically using the UTC wire. Well, for this purpose, I'm using three of the uh, teal and two of the black. And the objective of this one here is to get a good heavy fly that's going to go down and also give it the tractor pattern on it as well. So what we're going to do is the same as we've been doing before. We're just getting these wires and literally just winding it onto the hook. And as you can see there, it gives a lovely pattern to the body. So basically what we're going to be doing is just bringing this all the way up. As you're going around, just making sure the wires don't twist. This is uh, just one of the numerous patterns I've been tying up for uh, my good colleague Stephen Mum to be trying out uh, at the end of this month in Argentina. So uh, we just hope that, that, uh, that it works. So uh, what we're going to do is just uh, get the wires here. Just put that through. And you don't worry about the wires actually starting to spin around because what we're going to be doing is setting this on the hook good and proper. Once that's done, all we're going to do is just trim off the wire here and at the back, just tease him out and trim him. And just with your nail, you're just going to fold that in so there's no lumps and bumps. Once we've got this here, we're going back to my old stuff again. The fantastic. This is the uh, Deer Creek Dam and Hard Resin and it literally does what it says, root dries rock hard. So what we're going to do on this one here, we're just going to put the resin onto the body and we're going to work it this just around. And what this is going to do, it's going to encapsulate that wire onto the hook. Also it just highlights the body as well. So once we've got that onto him there, Next thing we're going to do, going to give him a, a zap with the torch. I like to put it on just to make double sure. Once he's on there, as you can see, that's just dried rock hard. Once that's finished, I'm going to put on the tiny silk. Next thing to go on is the hackle. Now what I'm doing, I'm just using the hackle. This has been dyed fluorescent pink, then uh, gentian violet. So you can see with a torch under the UV comes out a lovely hottish red colour. Let's see he's been put on. Just going to wind the hackle in, just stroke them back. Winding the hackle in. I'm doing a full hackle on this one here instead of the throat ones, just to give a bit more movement of the, of the pattern. Pull that out. Once we're happy with that, just secure them in. String the heckles back, catch them in. Then to finish it off, though, we're just going to put the wing. The wing on this one is uh, bronze mallet. So we get the bronze mallet, fold him once, fold him twice, setting him in. Turn off the waist and just build the head up.
you can see on the pattern there now you've got just you've got the body just with the wire adds it extra weight to the fly just gets it down good and deep we'll finish him off What's it done? Same thing again, just going to get the, uh, the Deer Creek resin. I'm just going to put that on. Once he's on, go around the zap. And there you go, Bob's your uncle. Beautiful head finished on that one there. So there we go, that's my steel head pattern. So there's different colours you can use. You can use chartreuse and gold, chartreuse and black, uh, pink and black, numerous colours. So I would say over here, happy wrappings.